some exciting times ahead for Tartan. And I'm sure volleyball especially, and if boys volleyball becomes a sport, they'll have the benefit of air-conditioned facilities. But it's Tartan who gets the benefit of the first point you can make up for it on the very next play. And we've seen that occur several times. Good serve by Two Rivers. Tartan forced to play recovery mode. Here's Seidenberg, and Tartan recovers nicely. Seidenberg picks up her second kill. Tessa Bolson serving for the Warriors. Seidenberg going off speed. The teardrop falls for a Tartan point. If you're wondering about ties, those can come in weekend tournaments. And Two Rivers responds with an off-speed hit of their own. It's Ellie Reif who, I believe, records the first kill for the Warriors. It's quite the windup. Dotson goes cross-court. Tartan able to play it. Did that touch? It went off of a Two Rivers player. And so that will be a point for number 10, Harper Henry. Henry with a hard hit, but Bolson was there for the up. Tartan will get another chance for the back row. It's Seidenberg. Got it. They have chemistry. And perhaps a little bit of confusion. Seidenberg and Satine Lee. Two rivers after a slow start. Inching and creeping their way back in this. Now Tartan from the middle. Abby Bennis with an emphatic answer. One timeout remaining for the Warriors in this set. As you know, two timeouts per set. And a well-executed ATO play results in a kill for Gabby Kirchner. Is the score. Here's Seidenberg, who makes a cut and then goes cross court. Seidenberg winds up, fires. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Martin still with breathing room, but two rivers looking to make a fight of it. Almost a collision on the serve received. And Tartan does take care of business. And so we're even at three. I don't think either side has recorded a kill yet. No. No, three service errors, a net call, a rotation violation. And now we get one. More of a finesse player than someone like Gabby Kirchner, although Gibson does go into the windup and makes a fool out of me. Looking to hold off Tartan. Abby Bennis has other ideas, and that is Tartan's first kill of this set. Seidenberg on the serve receive. Bennis finds a spot down the middle. That could pose a problem. Harper Henry with the answer. That's her first kill of the second set. It's Gibson with the attack and the point for two rivers. Some initial miscues. Slim lead for two rivers. Tartan trying to build some momentum. She has four kills in this set at three in the first. So right. We take her as a player to watch, and she is playing that role well. And now we're tied. Three straight points for two rivers. Off three miscues. Abby Bennis gives the Titans a much needed score. Let's see what happens.
And Tartan will get the point on the double contact ball handling error. You saw Izzy Kirchner and Larray Dodson collide. And make contact with the net. Again, you cannot cross that line. So two rivers giving Tartan some free points here. It's 4-1. Seidenberg denied. Gabby Kirchner got a play on it. That's not a number you want to see creep up into the teens. Seidenberg with the let kill. And she lined it up down the left side. Seidenberg rises, fires, and scores from the middle. She has all three kills for the Titans in this third set. Speaking of refinement, Jaden Larson collecting the ace on that last play. And two rivers puts an end to the run for the moment. Emily Rosen, Let's see if she changes that here. But Tartan pulling away. They get another free ball after a tough serve. Venice, play at the net. Tartan able to corral it. Now Seidenberg with the attack from the back row, and she scores again. Tartan's last victory came in the pandemic shortened season against Two Rivers, as Abby Bennis lands her first kill. They'll hang on to their timeouts for now. And a service error ends it. It's a straight set win for the Titans. Izzy Kirchner getting some consolation from her teammates. Certainly not the way you want to end it. But this evening belongs to Tartan.